decided to make a ninja level up to 56 so I'm going to show you how I did it in one day and so you're going to start up you're going to spawn um, up in the north here somewhere uh, I think it's even up here in Olivia and you're going to basically fight you're going to have some quests and the first few quests to get to like level 10 or so are going to be pretty easy they're going to get you all the way down here and you're going to push what I recommend you do is you make your way to Velia. Now, if this is if this is not your first character, this is your alt, you want to give your character a lot of gear. So I like just Grunels is just an overall really good set. It costs about a million to get it all, anyways. And I had some Grunel that my witch had. And the thing about gear in this game, except for like your main weapon and maybe like your offhand, but like the rings and everything else can all be used uh, by the same characters. The next thing you're going to want to do is just make sure you have all the EXP buffs you possibly can get going on. Uh, there's some really good buffs you can get from just the events. Um, and what I mean by that is just like your attendance reward. Like for instance, on this day, I ended up on day 11, I got this sealed book of combat. It lasts for seven days. It looks like it's going to run out tomorrow. It's a like 100% EXP boost, so that's really helpful. You can also get these, G I got GM buffs that I was using that were left over from who knows where but something you can buy off the uh, auction house is the milk tea again it's not that expensive it lasts for 90 minutes and you get an 8% increase to your combat EXP again just something to help speed up the process and you can buy this off the marketplace no problem after getting some basic gear from Velia I can, which I can have shipped from Heidel I'm gonna be sort of in between those mountain areas there is a goblin cave near this area which is just great for farming um, and pushing out to like the low 20s the next stop was we're gonna go south of Heidel and you can pick up some more supplies if you need to or if you want to pick up some loot because you're gonna be leveling up pretty quick we're gonna go to the castle ruins and I'm level 20 when I go there because I mean I'm just leveling up so quick and you can see here from just killing a few mobs. The mob density is pretty good in these castle ruins. You know, each kill I'm doing is giving me like two or three percent, so it doesn't take very long to level. And as you see here, I'm I'm basically getting a level to level 24, 25, and you can see the mob density is really good and I'm able to level just really quickly. So after you're done with the castle ruins, we're gonna head west to past the swamp naga, past these other guys. We're going to head south, we're going to head to Glish here, and we're going to head south of Glish to the place called the Bloody Monster. It says levels 25 through 27. And we're going to start here probably when we're about level 24, 25. And here's the guys at the Bloody Monastery, and you can tell the mob density here is just really superior. Um, but even so, at level 24, I'm taking a lot of damage. There are purple mobs, so my black spirit's like, get out of here, whatever. But... Um, that's no problem because I'm just using potions that I've gotten from the quests. They're on a three second, you know, cooldown, so it's not a big deal. And you can see if just from the quests alone I have 140 potions for whatever reason. Or just some of the side quests I get from the Black Spirit. So I'm able to grind these mobs up to the low 30s, I would say. After you're done with the Bloody Monastery, you're going to go west of Glish. And this, there's a little guard outpost here. In west there's a bunch of orcs. I, I got a quest I think from Black Spirit and here's the orcs. There's just a lot of mob density so I'm grinding in the, the low 30s um, after I've gotten from level 25 I'm in the low 30s so I'm just gonna grind up as much as I can here. This is a again really fast there's just a ton of mob density. We're gonna head west of Heidel you see there's Velia, there's Heidel. Now we're far west, so there's Glish where we just were. So we have to take quite a little ride. We're going to go to Calfion. It's a big city. And just really close to Calfion, there's a refugee camp here. Now this refugee camp has a lot of uh, really slow-moving zombies. And I came here when I was level 33, so some of the mobs are a little higher. I'm using all the EXP buffs, the Milk Tea, my little combat book I got from the event. So I'm stacking all these combat EXP buffs as much as I can. There's just a lot of mob density here. And with your good gear, you should be able to destroy these mobs pretty easily. And they're going to give good EXP, as you can tell. Um, it doesn't take very long to level up here. After we're done grinding, 
those refugee camps. We're going to go southeast when we're about level 40. And it's just southeast of uh, Calpheon and west of Heidel. Uh, that's where Calpheon is. And then it's just northwest of this other little town called Keplin. And this place is called like Marnie's Lab. And it's past this area. Now you can park your horse at the very bottom of this area. You can see where my horse is parked. And there's a bunch of these little chimeras there on this path. So it's a little hard to find. Now these chimeras, when I was a little lower level here at level 40, they hit me pretty hard. So you're going to have to have potions, obviously. Now you should be picking up a few potions from the quests. So you might not need to buy any, but obviously if you do buy some, it's not going to hurt. And these things spawn pretty frequently, and they spawn in good packs to do AoE damage to them. For any class, this is just a great farming spot, and I got great EXP from this area. And here they are in daytime, so you can kind of see them better. They're red, so they're a little harder to see at night, but here you go. Starting at level 45, I went to the Manshi camp, which is just west of this catfish camp. And it's just west of Calpheon. So again, we're in more in the west part of the world now. And you can see there was our beginning spot was way over there. So now we've pushed all the way to the west. And these Manchi camp guys, they're really easy. I, you see I got my horse, he's just full. And these Manchi are just bat packed up. So it's just an excellent farming spot. I found this to be better than catfish because I think catfish have a lot more bigger mobs. That can actually block and do more damage to you and these guys again they drop pretty decent loot and look at how many they're just together this is a great farming spot i started at level 45. so once you get to level 49 and you're like at 99.99 percent from after grinding the last spot you're going to get a quest to kill basically the boss if you were to actually do the story you're going to get this item called ancient light you're going to want to right click it it's going to put a waypoint on your map so once you get to level 52, 53, maybe even 51, but definitely not lower. And it, if you have better gear, like this is an alt character, you can grind Saucens. It's way up here in the northeast. So we were just done grinding either the catfish, which is fine. But I like to grind those Mancha guys. Those are really good to grind up and just power level through. I'm going to head back east. and I can swing by Calpheon and buy items if I want. I'm going to head past Heidel here, and I'm going to head all the way over here to Sawson's Garrison way up here. And if you can, you want to connect the nodes. This is one of the, we're kind of approaching end game here. And you're going to grind from 52-ish to like 56. Like this is where you're going to be grinding all the way to 56. And this is going to take you to your awakening ability really. Like most other mob packs in this game uh, that I've recommended in this video, they're mostly packed up. But these ones are really good to farm with the group. Uh, just because they're tougher, these big guys can hit really hard. Unless you have just phenomenal gear, uh, then you could do it solo if you had, this was like a pretty top tier alt for you. But just be nice with people, you know, you see them farming, like they call it the main rotation. You can like go up to them and like say, hey, can I join your group? And as long as you're nice, most people will let you in. And this way you can like farm up to 56. And that's the end of the video. As you can see here, I'm getting my awakening skills are popping up. I finished the awakening quest, which is something that the Black Spirit will give to you after you get to 56. So he'll have you do um, go meet a guy and then the guy, to, the guy that you meet depends on the class that you are. And then they give you three quests and those three quests pretty much should be completed with groups because they can be kind of difficult so try to join a guild the guild can help you out getting your awakening weapon and you get a ton of new abilities also you get a skill reset so you don't need to reset your skills exactly with Armstrong's book which will help you reset your skills for at least a day hey I hope you guys like this video hope this helped you out if you're a new player or returning player like subscribe comment and I'll see you in the next chapter